Detroit City, my hometown. And for every foodie, you know the epic debate in food lore in the Motor City is Coney Dogs. Who has the best? Is it American or is it Lafayette? Well, some shows would dig deep into that and, you know, kind of balance it out and give you the pros and cons of each. I'm not going to do that because I already know which one is better. And it's... Nope. Lafayette. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Lafayette. We're going to get a bunch of uh, meat encased uh, products, put them on buns, chilies, and mustard and onions, and we're going to shove them in our faces. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to shove many of them in our faces. I grew up eating here. I can't wait anymore. I need to go through the door. I need to cross the street. I need to just hold it in my face and go, <laughs> and that's what we're going to do right now and go there, eat that. This is awesome, man. I grew, I grew up putting these things in my face all the time. So it's a big thrill to be filming up here and uh, doing this with you guys. I'm Brandon. What, what's your name again? Tony. Tony. How long have you been? Here? Uh, I've been here for like four years. Four years? Yeah. There's guys that have been here since I was a little kid. Yeah. They've been here like 30, 40 years. No, absolutely. And like I said, I've been eating here since I was a kid. So it's cool to be on this side of the, uh, well, this side of the, yeah. on the kitchen. kitchen you know, this this side of the big the, wall, this is the man. VIP side, right over here. Okay. Now talk to me. What sets these dogs apart? These dogs that I grew up loving, what sets them apart? I know what sets them apart, but they don't know what sets them apart. They don't know, yeah. Tell the people, tell the people what makes this a Detroit Lafayette well, Coney dog. Well, we make, basically we make our own chili, our own secret recipe that just like, And you're gonna give us that top. secret recipe right now, right? Oh, no, no, that's, <laughs> Come on. that's, 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 you gotta have money for that. All right. All right, uh, but, uh, we had, it's the same recipe for 101 years, uh, since 1914. 101 years. 101 years, yep. So my mom was eating here too, but she was a yeah. kid. Yeah. So Probably grandmother too. Very well, she used to work right down the street actually. Yep. So. Yep. And the dogs themselves, they're not like the little dogs you buy in the store. No, no, no. No, these are real. These are real. The real, the real deal, yeah. Real, real deal, honey. What, what's, what's, the, what's, in the, what's in the dog? What makes them bark? Uh, well, actually it's 50-50, uh, it's uh, pork and beef. But uh, we, we get it from uh, Dearborn, Dearborn Hot Dogs. Nice, and you've been getting them there since? Since, uh, oh yeah, for a long time, yeah. Now the mystique of Lafayette Coney Island is it's straightforward Detroit in your face Coney Dogs. Yep. Now there's some competition next door, but they, in my they, opinion, they, they may be next door, but they're still miles and miles away. Yeah, they're no competition. We we actually gave them that name, because they're next next to us, people, people think that it's a competition, so they'd be like, oh, if Lafayette's good, American got to be good. Totally too. different. But it's totally. When totally people, when people try it, they be like, no, there's no way. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you look at the, the charts, the, the Coney Dog charts, and any anything you look up, yeah, it always says Lafayette it's, it's is always, number one. Always Lafayette number one. Yeah. Now, how long do you cook these things? I mean, how long does it take from it's, being a cold dog to putting it in my face? Uh, it depends. Uh, if it's busy and we just put them on the grill, we just light these bad boys up, and it'll take like. Probably not even five to, ten, five to seven minutes, That's and it's, perfect. it's all done. And the traffic that you guys get here, uh, the tra uh, the you guys are packed oh, morning yeah. to night, every single. How, how, oh, what yeah. are your hours? I mean, do you guys ever go home? Do you live downstairs? And <laughs> people think that, <laughs> but uh, no, uh, actually, from uh, eight in the morning, it's two shifts. From eight in the morning to seven, and then uh, from seven to uh, I think four, four or five in the morning. So we close, we close for a couple of hours. That's a lot of work, man. I mean, yeah. Now, the person that opened Lafayette Pony Dog and got this whole thing rolling, who is it and where did he come from? Uh, he's, he's actually from uh, Greece. He's, uh, he's uh, the first owner, I don't know his name, but I know the story that uh, the first owner opened it up. He was a Greek guy, and then uh, he, he let his brother join him. And then both of them got into a big like argument, and then the, the other brother opened the one next door. So it was just like ri rivalry ever since. That'll teach you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just open up one next door. And, uh, and then now they don't know. And then lose. 
and the, yeah, we, <laughs> and a hundred years later, you're still losing. <laughs> you're still losing every Sorry, year guys, losing. over there. It's still a Detroit still, company. Still, still second place. Still second second place. place is good. Yeah, it's good. We gave him second place. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say this in a direct, nicest way possible. Make me a Coney. Make you a Coney. Make me a Coney, please. No I can't take it no, no more. No problem. No problem. Okay, I've been looking forward to this. I'm always looking forward to this. There's never a time in my life when I'm like, I don't think I want a Coney Dog from Lafayette today. No, I'm always looking forward to this every single time. And boom, this is the moment of truth. <laughs> You've had Coney Dog. You've had them before, haven't you? You can get a Coney Dog in any corner in any shop. You can make them at your house. This is better than your Coney Dog. You think you know Coney Dogs? You don't know nothing about Coney Dogs. This is Lafayette. This is where you get a Coney Dog. I don't even want to talk about the meat. I don't want to talk about the chili or the mustard or anything. It's just art. It's Detroit art. Mm. Apparently they like this, they brought us like nine. I may or may not share with the camera crew. Probably not. Wow. With a mustard stained upper lip and a chili stained heart, I am content, I am satisfied. Lafayette Coney, you have done it again. As you've been doing it for my entire life, thank you for existing. Thank you for your wonderful chili goodness. Zin like state. Zin like steak. Thank you for joining me on Go There, Eat That. Until next, I have no idea where we're going next, but please join us. I'm Brandon. Good night. Toothpick. Another toothpick. And two forks. And we gotta build them right in the tip. And. Chili cheese. Only in the D, baby.